Good morning all. Today I am here to present an introduction to QGIS software. What, what do you mean by QGIS? As you all know, QGIS is the abbreviation form of quantum GIS. It is an open source geographic information system. That means it can be downloaded and installed on your desktop free of charge. It runs on Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. There are also numerous plugins that extend the functionality of QGIS. Then we are move on to the common functions of QGIS. Geocode, overlay, georeference, buffer, uh, view shed analysis. These are some of the common functions of QGIS. And uh, coming to the geocode. To create points on map from street address in a spreadsheet form and in, uh, in the case of overlay to superimpose two or more maps or layers in, in the same coordinate system to show the relationship between them. Uh, as you all know your reference to align geographic data with a given coordinate system allowing for overlays. Then selected by location to select features according to their relationship in space to other features. In the case of buffer to create a zone around a feature in units of distance or time. Selected by attribute to select features according to their properties like coring database. And in the case of join to attach fields from one table to those of another through an out attribute or field common to both tables uh, here then uh, view shed analysis to determine what area are visible from particular location these are the common functions of QGIS then we are move on to the next slide uh, which will show us the advantages and disadvantages of QGIS QGIS is a fast developing, easy to learn and a multi-platform, customizable and open source software. These are the advantages. But in the case of uh, QGIS, that tool can be uh, outdated sometimes. It lacks a proper on online tutorial and a labeling, labeling interface is a complicated one and it takes a lot of time to learn and it lacks more results. These are all about disadvantages of QGIS. Then we are move on to a video. How to georeference a map or topo sheet using QGIS. Welcome to the video. Here we have to georeference a topo sheet or map in QGIS platform. This is, a, this is the QGIS platform. From here. We, plug, we, use, uh, we will select the plugins and from, from when we select the plugins we saw a window from there we will select georeferencer okay, then tick on it georeferencer then tick on it and close that window after that we are move on to the raster layer then we get uh, a, another tab from where we select georeferencer then we will show another window of georeferencer from there uh, we will click on the first icon then first icon then we we will choose uh, the to unreferenced our um, uh, reference topo sheet or map into it from our PC. For that, we will firstly select the topo sheet from our desktop and uh, we will open it. It will be see, seen in the uh, QGIS platform. After that, we are move on to uh, uh, move on to the uh, georeferencing for that firstly we zoom uh, the particular point then uh, add the control point for that go, go to add a point just 
click and where we can identify then we get then we get another window of x existing and y nothing you identified and just add latitude and longitude so whatever the format you can give us as your wish when it is decimal degree or only uh, degree minute second or decimal whatever it may be you can give anything okay then likewise you go go to another corner just to give the click then click on it zoom in and click on it uh, just okay click on it give space just give space then add values as it is it accept all the corners all the four corners then like that we will add all the four corners uh, x y coordinates so whenever you give add point whatever you can see that gcp or ground control points and uh, that is below below the table so once you assign all the points then see that your four points are updated in the ground control point table then we are move on to the set transformation setting from where uh, trans uh, we will select a transformation type as linear then uh, then we get a, a resampling method and resampling method we will select it as near neighbor then uh target target will be okay coordinate reference system selector uh, we will select it as utm uh, utm 46 north zone wgs 1984 utm 46 north zone whatever the projection uh, we need like wgs 1984 or utm or like polygon projection uh, the whatever projection we want we can type and we can select here we choose utm 19 wgs 1984 utm 46 north zone then select it and okay we are move on to the more move, move on to click okay button then we will uh, we will move on to the okay output raster file then we will select the uh, uh, select the output from our desktop here file name is tura topo modified okay okay load in qgis when done will be clicked clicked on it and okay button will be clicked then start your referencing here we add the linear okay after okay we'll select it 
here we get the geo reference the geo reference map or topo sheet here showing geo reference successfully okay then when geo reference is over close the geo reference then in main window add the raster layer after removing the geo referencer window we are move on to the main window from where we will select our uh, geo reference topo sheet as uh, modified topo sheet for that firstly we will browse uh, we will select our, the browser from there we will get the home page uh, click on it and uh, we will get the desktop icon then we will select it and uh, scroll on it we will get the topo sheet from where topo sheet uh, icon, uh, folder is open we will get the Tura, to Tura topo sheet topo modified tiff open tiff image externally click on it then we will uh, remove the layer okay then add the Tura topo modified tiff again then we will zoom it zoom on it each and every place will be show, shown its xy coordinates thank you